Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create anime speed line effect inside of HitFilm Express or HitFilm Free. So to get started, first we need to go to our media and create a new composite shot. I'm going to call this main and for the duration, let's go with 10 seconds long, 90, 20, 10, 80, and you can set the frame rate to 30 and click on OK. Then we're going to create a new plane layer and call it anything that you want. I'm going to call it solid. Let's give it a black color and click on OK. And then in the effects, we're going to search for fractal noise and apply it on this layer. So just simply double click on it to apply it or you can just drag it onto the viewer over here or just drag it onto the layer then you can just uh, change some settings the first thing we'll change is uh, the appearance so let's go to appearance and we're going to increase the exposure and we're going to reduce the offset like so and then we are going to also go to transform and scale it down like that and the next thing we are going to change is the axis scale. So expand that and we're going to set the X axis to around 20 or 25. And we're going to change the Y axis like so. And now you can animate the seed. So make sure your playhead is at the very first frame. Create a keyframe on seed and then go to the last frame and set the seed to something like 10 or 15. And then if you play the animation, you should see something like this and there you have it you have a simple anime speed effect now if you want to change the direction all you have to do is under transform we have uh, rotation over here so you can set this to 90 and now the lines will move to the right so you can control the length over here you can stretch it out and you know you can increase the x um, scale as well so you can completely change the look of it over here now you can also change the exposure over here and you know get in more of these lines you can also keyframe it coming in and do all sorts of stuff yeah you can just uh, be creative and come up with your own variation you can also add in a glow effect to this if you search for glow double click on it to apply it and then you can change the blend to normal or you can change the intensity to whatever value that you want and you know come up with a different variation altogether but yeah that is the basics of how you can achieve this effect let me turn off the glow for now right now if you want to change the look of the lines if you want them to you know come at the screen uh, for that we need to first of all go back to our fractal noise and we're going to set the rotation back to the default value so you can just right click on the rotation and click on reset and then after the fractal noise we are going to add in a polar warp so just simply apply that and then you just have to extend the polar warp size so now you have this uh, look where the speed lines are coming at the screen looking pretty cool now you can add some colors to this as well so if i after uh, the polar warp effect add in a gradient so let's search for gradient uh, radial gradient and apply it after the polar warp i'm going to remove the glow for now and in the radial gradient, we can change some settings. So let's set the blend to normal and see what that does. And we can change the inner radius and the outer radius. So we can change the color to any color that we want. So let's go with this cream color. And we can change the opacity and all that stuff. So maybe something like that. You can play around with these uh, values over here. And let's just change the blend to add and you know keep cycling it through i'm going to set this to overlay i think that looks really cool and now as you can see we have some gradient in our speed lines so you can you know change the color and all that stuff over here and yeah so that is basically it that's how you can create a cool anime speed line effect inside of HitFilm. i hope this video was helpful hope you learned something new if you did then please make sure you leave a like and also subscribe to the channel Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.